So in this bubble application, we are going to create a repeating group which will display the list of customer that we have in our database. Here in our application, I have created a simple page with some text and heading for our database to display. Today in this video, we will be using repeating group to show a list of database entry in our application. A repeating group is a special type of container to show the list of items. Here in our application, I have already created a data type of customers here. And my application already contains some of the entries for the uh, data type of customers. So here you can see I have four entries uh, with all the details listed here. Address, company, email address, full name, phone number and even profile picture. So what we are trying to do here is we, we are trying to display all these data to our application, which is this. So I will begin with uh, drawing a repeating group here. Mm, simple. And, and now type of content is customers. And data source should be do search for customers with no any constraints because we are trying to display all the customers database here and as our customers could be unlimited maybe our customers should be like maybe two or maybe 200 400 so i'm unchecking it uh, so that it will list the all the number of customers in our application and i'm setting minimum height of 60 to make it nicer and also to to display some effects while while we hover over the customers i'm i'm drawing a group here here a group and i'm and and the type of content should be customers and data source should be current sales customer and to apply some condition what i'm trying to do here is uh, this group when this group is hovered i want to change background color so or maybe yeah we can set um, background style flat color and background color is let's make it a bit blackish yeah so when so when 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 this customer is hovered the background color will change okay let's stretch it and let's try or maybe let's begin with um, creating a profile picture first so i'm drawing an image here mm -hmm and for the sake of example i'm just uploading one image just to let you know how how it works and how it displays on front end so let's upload this one and let's as this image is already round but there could be some images which are square so we want to make it um, round so we can just go to roundness and make 100 all right so let's make it a bit bigger yeah so we have the customer's profile picture here now we want to add customer's full name for that let's draw a text here and for the example let's let's type a name john joy yeah and let's apply some styling let's make it um, 500 all right so this is full name now let's now let's make email address for that let's draw a text yeah and write example at the rate example.com for an example and let's child it and make it size to 10 or maybe 11 let's go with 11 so we have email address here now let's stretch it let's center it 
Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have full name here. We have email address. Now we want company name. So for company name, we can copy this and paste it and we can just draw it over here and we can write Apple INC for an example. Let's stretch it and we also want phone number for that. Let's go here and let's type down an example phone number 07 yeah and for the address let's again copy and paste it just down below address yeah so london yeah for an example so yeah we have format formatted our repeating group you can see we we have all the required elements to display our data so we have profile picture full name email address company name phone number and address let's try by previewing it how it how it looks here so see we have the list of customers but what you can notice here is it is showing the same that we have that we have entered here right so what we are missing here is to connect these elements to our data source so to do that first let's go with the profile picture and clear this profile picture and insert it dynamically so parent groups customers and profile picture so now we have linked our profile picture to our database back in here this profile picture so let's go to application editor and let's do the same with name full name insert it dynamically parent groups mm, customer and full name i'm going to do same with all the all the fields here mm. this is email address done this is company name this is company name insert it dynamically and company all right phone number do the same phone number for address do the same address yeah all right so we have linked all these fields to our database and if we preview this it should work perfectly and it should display all of our full data entry that we have here all these so let's go and try preview so all right see so we have all all the four customers name and details here um, which we have here in data so we have successfully used the repeating group to, to list the uh, list of customers here okay so you can customize it further so you can see that we want once we uh, hover over the group it, it changes its color it's because we have another group inside repeating group and once it ho once it gets over then it, it changes its color okay so uh, yeah so we, we just use the repeating group to display list of items from our database you can customize it further to add to add search and filter function or edit and add databases and so many more if you have any questions regarding this using this repeating group you can just comment down below i will happy to help you with your project or your learning uh, please subscribe to my channel if you want the videos like this to come in near future thank you so much for watching this video thank you guys